He who is lost within himself walks in hiddenness. His acts are not influenced by approval or disapproval. He whose law is outside himself directs his will to what is beyond his control and seeks to extend his power over objects. He who walks in hiddenness has light to guide him in all his acts. He who seeks to extend his control is nothing but an operator. While he thinks he is surpassing others, others see him merely straining and stretching to stand on tiptoe. When he tries to extend his power over objects, those objects gain control of him. He who is controlled by objects loses possession of his inner self. If he no longer values himself, how can he value others? If he no longer values others, he is abandoned. He has nothing left. There is no deadlier weapon than the will. The sharpest sword is not equal to it. There is no robber as dangerous as nature. Yet it is not nature that does the damage. It is man's own will. Virtue is internal, attainment is external. Now when the mind does not get absorbed by the external, the body is made whole. Physical wholeness is called virtue in the sense that virtue is mastery over the body. Generally speaking, virtue is attained by not striving, completed by not desiring, stabilized by not thinking, solidified by not exploiting. Thus it can be said, not attaining is in possessing virtue. Emptiness means the mind is subject to no restriction. When you are empty, virtue is full. Fullness of virtue is called higher virtue. So it is said, higher virtue has no striving, yet there is nothing it doesn't do. Virtue is the achievement of the way. Achievements have actualizations, and actualizations have beauty. Humaneness is the beauty of virtue. Justice is the concrete expression of humaneness. Now, concrete expressions have manners. Manners have artistry. Courtesy is the artistry of justice. And human rulers lack the way. At home they impoverish the people, while abroad they invade and despoil foreign nations. Dishonesty prevails because of greed. And when greed prevails, the norms of business are disturbed. Troubles and problems occur. So therefore, from this perspective, you could say that all troubles and problems are the product of a dishonest mind. When the psyche is disturbed, there is no virtue. The way is the whereby of all things, standard of all order. Order is the pattern of things that come to be. The way is the whereby of all things that come to be. Therefore it can be said, the way is what orders them.